They sound alike, even look the same. But these honeybees found all over South Carolina are much different than the killer variety known to experts as Africanized bees. If I put my hand and hive tool at the entrance of this hive, you can see a few bees come out and investigate, see what's happening. With Africanized bees, I understand, they will just come out in large numbers and be all over my glove and would eventually cover our bee suits, according to Fred Singleton with Clemson Extension. But he says they're no more dangerous than regular bees as long as they're alone. People uh, mistakenly perceive the bees as actually going out and attacking people deliberately. That's not what they do. They are actually defending their territory. But if they see you as a threat, a swarm can attack, chasing you for up to a quarter of a mile. That's where the danger lies. They say African bees will hang around for 30 minutes after you jump in water. So you would, you would drown before you'd come, come up. Singleton says the so-called killer bees may already be here in South Carolina. Some with their traits may even be in this colony in Georgetown County, but because they're not 100% Africanized, they're not as dangerous. But swarms have been reported at the Port of Charleston. So I went out to the ship and donned my protective equipment, of course, and was able to locate the bees on a ship corner of a shipping container on that vessel. These are the African bees Steve Schweitzer with U.S. Customs and Border Protection found nine years ago. There have been a total of three reported swarms at the port since 1989, all on cargo ships coming from areas prone to the bees, including Mexico, California, and Florida. Another swarm was spotted in Greenville on an airplane being moved from Arizona. In each case, the insects were killed before they could multiply. We would be concerned about Africanized bees uh, becoming established in South Carolina due to the fact that we do consider them an agricultural pest and a less desirable species of bees for the beekeepers to work with. So to keep the bees at bay, Schweitzer and other officials work closely with captains on ships that come into Charleston and provide them with a 24-hour number where they can report any sightings. Approximately two to three times a year we might be called regarding the presence of bees on board a ship. But not all the bees found are Africanized and whether we like it or not, experts say we're going to have to live with them. There's no barrier, there's no barricade we can do to stop them. Mandy Gaither, Live 5 News.